Not knowing how to invert a binary tree, the scariest part of a generic software engineering journey. Well, it's not because the scariest part of a software engineering journey is really knowing where to start and how to start. Now, there are a lot of pathways that you can take if you're delving into the realm of software engineering. A lot of people who are learning how to code will have a lot of options presented to them. They could either go through the self-taught path where they're overwhelmed by a lot of information, a lot of technology out there and not knowing where to start and how to start. And then there is another path where you can go, which is the bootcamp path. Now, this path is good, but it can be really, really expensive and a burden on your pocket. Well, why am I telling you all of this? Well, because today we're going to be reviewing a platform called Programming Expert, which claims to take you from zero to a hero in programming. And it is meant for any level of expertise and it is set to be done at your own pace. So before we dive into the platform, let's just look at the pricing that they have available online. So as we guys can see, here I am on the Programming Expert platform and they are saying that it has everything you need for an unbeatable price and it is just $25 here in Pakistan. So the price may differ according to the region that you're in but over here in South Asia it's for $25 if you're in the US the price will be different but it can be said that it is being given at a relatively low price it is not something which can be said to be very very expensive because we can see that a lot of courses even on Udemy are even more expensive than this so before we dive into the platform I would just like to give a disclaimer that this platform was actually provided to me as a trial by Clement himself so he was really kind enough to give it to me so that I can review it but there is no bias involved in any of the opinion that I'm going to be given today because I'm not getting paid at all so it is all going to be my own opinion that is going to go into this video so let's just dive into the platform so over here as we can see we have everything on one page the secret sauce and well as we scroll down we can see that the platform consists of 253 practice questions and 16 assessment questions and there's a progress bar which really monitors how much you have done and it can unlock a certificate for you if you do all of the practice questions and assessment questions is the certificate really worth it well, if you're talking about the market, it might not be worth that much. But given that, it also provides you a bit of motivation because you're really striving towards it. It really gamifies the element of a platform. And I think that it is still a good thing to have. Moving on, we can really see that the learning is divided into sections. We have our programming fundamentals. We have object-oriented programming. We have advanced programming. And then there is software design, software engineering tools, and then programming with Go. And then there's a project section at the end, which is really to test what you have learned learned and to really solidify your understanding by doing something which is really big, bigger than the assessments or practice questions that you have already available on the platform. So we can see that the instructor for this course is Tech with Tim himself. He's a really, really great YouTuber and you can see all of his tutorials online as well. And you can see what kind of a teaching style he has if he suits you. So I can personally vouch for the instructor and say that Tech with Tim is a really great instructor and he teaches Python really, really well, which is going to be the language which is taught within Programming Expert. I think a big advantage of dividing the learning into sections is that a lot of people have different expertise levels. So let's say that if I am really comfortable with the programming fundamentals, then I can really move on to object oriented programming or advanced programming. And there are several beneficial sections such as software design. And I think that this is really, really key because a lot of tutorials online, they will teach you how to code, but they won't teach you good coding practices. And I think that programming expert really nailed it with this because they added this element of teaching you real good software practices as well as making you more aware about the software engineering tools that they have and also github and git in general which is really good because this is basically one platform where you're getting to learn how to code and also learning the good coding practices and tools along the way and then we can see that they've also added programming with go which is another programming language apart from python now this is i think also very very clever because what they're trying to do over here is basically trying to cover another language being bilingual or more than that is actually really important in software engineering it's going to be a part of your journey because in a lot of jobs you're going to be exposed to new tools and new skill sets and you're going to be required to learn those technologies and i think this section is just added here so that you get comfortable with translating some concepts that you have learned in one language into the concepts that are available in another language so i think that this is also a great skill set that you need to build as a software engineer and i really appreciate that they have put it over here another thing to keep in mind is that the time that they have available 
schedule over here is not actually the time that they have for the videos rather this is actually the estimate that they have given that it will take you to do all of the practice questions as well as the videos now another cool thing about programming expert is let's say that i go into a section you actually have a glossary over here which contains a lot of key terms that you can search upon and you can look upon and their definitions as well i think the thing that i was really looking for in this is that it would have been really really cool if let's say that i was you know going over attribute and its definition over here but let's say that there was a link over here added as well that went over the video explanation for this key term if that linking was provided on the platform that it would have been really really cool as well so maybe clement if you're watching this is something that you might want to integrate into the platform but apart from that i think this is really good especially if you want to go over a key term and just quickly go over the definition now if we go over each section let's say that it's programming fundamentals and i go into it a key thing that you can notice is that each video is actually divided into the key terms that are available to learn within this section i think this is great because if you want to quickly jump to that part of the video you can do that as well and they have the key terms listed below as well which you can really go over and it's also listed in the glossary as well they have practice questions for each video and the most cool thing that i really love about programming expert is the code editor mode now this is really important and why that is because when i'm watching tutorials what i tend to do is that i watch the tutorial on another screen and then i'm coding on my laptop on another device so i'm not doing it on the same device but this what really allows you to do is that whilst you're watching the video you can also code along on the platform and really solidify your concepts and we can see that now wait how do we actually close this is there a button oh so the normal mode over here yeah dumb me so we can see that we have the practice question over here and I'll just show you how that looks like. So we're given basically the question and then we have an option. We have the solution which we can reveal and we can see and there are multiple questions which are available for each subsection. So if I go back to it, we can see that if I go and switch categories, then there are going to be practice questions for that as well. I think this is really good because whilst you're learning, it's really reinforcing your concepts again and again. And I think you can say that it's like a quiz because it's going to reinforce a lot of your concepts. Now, if you really go back, we can also see that there's an assessment section which is available for each section now this is a bit more detailed than the quizzes that we have inside each subsection this is more like you have to code out a proper solution and then you have like test cases a raw output and you can go to and you can switch questions as well i think that it's really preparing you for the type of questions that are contained in algo expert it's going to give you more like a good idea also i feel like it's going to be really easy to transition from programming expert to algo expert as well because they've set up the questions in that sense that I think that when you switch off the platform and go to Algo Expert, it will be a bit easier to solve those questions as well. I think the only drawback that I can see about this platform currently is maybe one that maybe the UX isn't that good, like navigating around the platform is a bit hard. It can take a bit of time to get used to navigating around the platform and especially like opening the code editor and then closing it. But also apart from that, maybe that it's only available in Python. But then again, you could also see it as a pro because Python is one of the most successful coding interview languages as well. It is a very easy, easy language to grasp for beginners. I think it's really upon you. You should really ponder if you want to learn Python and want to go with that as your first language. But otherwise, I think that the platform is really good. It also has projects which are going to give you some more real life and more like big project experience. And then for each project, we can see that if we go into the project there's a prompt there's a video which goes over the question that is given there's also a much detailed question that is given below there are some sample inputs and outputs and then there's also a solution section where you can download the solution go on github and also see the explanation for each project so i think conclusively i could say that programming expert is good especially if you're a beginner especially if you want to learn python and go with that as your main programming language or the programming language that you want to learn i think there's a bit of drawback in ux like in the usability of the platform which is also like something that you can get over once you get used to the platform i think that the platform provides a bunch of great features like the glossary like the key terms you can jump into parts of videos which you want to learn you can jump into key sections and subsections and you can also choose what you want to learn and what not to learn there are separate sections for separate expertise and if you're maybe not a beginner you can jump into those sections directly and get started with those i think that writing good code is 
as important as learning how to code so i think that that also intrigued me a lot and then the software engineering tools and then transferring your skills to another language that is also a really good part of programming expert overall i think if i had to buy it at my time if i had to learn it i would definitely give 25 dollars because i think that 25 dollars is not a lot considering how much boot camps are really taking these days and then it also gives you a clear and concise path to learn and you can also check out tech with tim's video on youtube just to get a taste of the instructor and how he really teaches so i hope you found this video to be insightful and that now you have a better understanding of programming expert please like this video and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more content and as always see you guys in the next video